Hello everyone, my name is Mikaela Valletta, also known as the Body Scientist. And in case you aren't familiar with me and my work, um, I have a Bachelor of Science in Exercise and Sports Science, and I'm also a Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist, certified by the NSCA, the National Strength and Conditioning Association. I'm also a USA Olympic Weightlifting Coach. I'm a personal trainer and a whole bunch of other stuff, sports nutritionist. I have a 16, 17 year um, history, background in the fitness industry. So in this video, we're going to talk about lunges. Most of you have probably seen my video on squats. If not, go back and look um, on this page, The Body Scientist 81. Um, I have a video called Squats for Life. I highly suggest that you take a look at that video. Um, in this video, we'll be talking about lunges, which is another very important core exercise and lower body exercise that people often overlook and or do incorrectly. Okay, so no matter what exercise you're doing, you always want to make sure that your form is correct and that your spine is protected and aligned properly. So that means you always want to have your chest out, your shoulders rotated back, okay? Abs engaged, as if somebody were to tap you in the stomach. Not sucked in so you can't breathe, not like that, but tight. Like if somebody were to throw a basketball in your stomach, you should tighten it. Neutral hips. So if your hips were a bowl of water filled to the top, and you stand like this, the water will all fall back that way. But if you stand like that, the water will all fall this way, right? So you want neutral hips, neutral, you see? They're neutral, not tilted back, and not tilted forward. And you want your knees slightly bent for every exercise that you do, whether it's bicep curls or shoulder press, same thing. Keeping the abs contracted helps to stabilize you and it helps to protect your spine. Just like in squats, you want to inhale through your nose on the descent. So as you're going down, you're inhaling through your nose so that you can fill your inner thoracic cavity with air. That's this whole empty space in between your ribs. You're filling it with air, and you're going to hold your breath and contract your abs as you push up against that weight, and you exhale on top, okay? So just to start quickly with the proper um, lunge form, let me put the camera down so you can see my feet too. Okay, so proper lunge form, hopefully you can hear me. You want chest out, shoulders back, abs engaged, knees, um, sorry, abs engaged, hips neutral, knees slightly bent. From this position, you're going to bring one foot straight back. Let me just make sure you can see. So I'm in this position. Wait, let me put the camera on. Oh, it'd be so much easier with the cameraman. Okay. And you see all of me. Sorry. Tall. Okay, so I'm in this position. I'm going to extend one leg, one foot straight back. Now, if you notice, both of my knees are bent, right? My back foot, my heel is up. This heel stays up the entire time, so I'm going to ball up my foot in the back foot. This back foot should not rock back. This heel should not rock. This knee should not at any point straighten. This front foot, my foot is in contact with the ground the entire time. At no point should my heel come off the floor or should my toe come off the floor. Okay, this front foot is flat on the floor in contact with the ground the entire time. Back foot heels up. Both knees are slightly bent. And my weight is evenly distributed between both legs, but really my attention is on my back leg more. So from here, I'm going to inhale through my nose and go straight down, hold my breath and push up, exhale on top. Notice when I come back to the top, I'm still in the position I started in. Both knees slightly bent. So I go straight down, straight up. Inhale, exhale. At no point do I go down and straighten this back leg, okay? Because that sets you up to start doing this now. You don't want to start doing lunges and your knees go over your toe. So it's very important to make sure that your knee and your ankle are stacked. And both knees are slightly bent when you start and when you end. So you go down as low as you can and up. Okay? Um, what was I going to say? Also, hold on the mic. Um, also, when you're holding on to two dumbbells, or barbell on your back, you'll notice that it tests your, your balance. So if you put on one or two dumbbells, you're going to be doing this. So you really have to engage your abs, engage your core. 
to make sure that you stay balanced, okay? You inhale the way down, hold your breath on the way up, exhale on top. I'm, I just did it with no weight. You want to make sure that you can do it properly first with no weight. Be able to do two sets of 15 with a good form with no weight. Once you can do that, you can start holding on to weight. Just like with every other strength exercise, the magic number is 15. This is for the male or female. If you can do more than 15 reps, you need to increase the weight. So, and I, I'm very good at telling this when I'm working with clients. Um, but in order to get stronger and to increase your lean body mass, which is making your bones stronger, increasing your muscle, um, you need to push your muscles. If you want to get stronger, you know, you want to keep your muscle as you age and your shape. Lunges are very important. It's also one of the really important ones for your thighs, your booty, your abs, all those things that people love to work with. So lunges, add them to your regimen. Make sure that you can do um, regular lunges, stationary, first, before you start trying to walk with it. And I will do a video on walking lunges. I just need a cameraman because it's too difficult for me to keep trying to move the camera to where I am. So I'll do a video on walking lunges, but before you do walking lunges, make sure you can do them in place perfectly. Make sure your breathing is good and always check to make sure, like I said, that both knees are slightly bent, the back heel is up, knee and ankle stacked. If I have dumbbells, I'm going straight down as long as I can and up. And no point am I going forward, okay? No forward. So you need to watch your form. Make sure that your back heel stays up, I go down, I come up, look at my back heel, my back heel stays up. You see, my back heel is not doing that. No point does it rock back or straighten, okay? So, um, lunge form is critically important, so you don't injure your knees, you should never injure your knees doing this. If you find this video helpful, please share it, please subscribe to my page, and I'm available for one-on-one -on -one training um, at a distance and in person. I am in Chicago. I'm from New York, just moved to Chicago, so I'm kind of like back and forth. So in those two cities, I'm always available to train anyone and any other city that I travel to. So if you're interested in discussing those options, just email me at thebodyscientist81 at gmail.com. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.